guys, my name is Philip Scrabba. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, please click subscribe. <laughs> Give me my hat. <laughs> it's not how you do it. <laughs> What's up guys, how you doing? Hope you had a great week. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Philip Scrabba and the subscribe button is right, so it's actually down here. Um, it'd be awesome if you subscribed. Today, David and I, what we're doing is we're gonna be teaching you how to film a beer commercial, a beer spot. So it looks like it does on TV. It's lit beautifully, it's nice and smooth, and you know, it just makes you want to drink that beer. <sighs> so what we've done is yesterday we rigged up like a whole set behind us and we've used like more or less everything that we had in our studio. Um, we didn't buy any extra stuff except for some plexiglass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to film it, what we're doing, where we're filming, where the lights are set up, where the flags are set up, where, well, just everything to make it look good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, so we're gonna take you along for the ride today. And we'll be using a Edelkron slider. Edelkron slider, that's it for most of the shots because we're thinking of doing this like handheld B-roll stuff, but it just did not suit this idea. We wanted it to be really, really pro. So, so yeah. Let's go. Let's go. So this is our setup today. We have our beer on a piece of oak on a piece of plexiglass. So. It's kind of shining through a little bit, but it's a little bit uh, mirrored right there. We have our Sony a7 III on the Elder Cologne Slider 1 version 2 Pro and a Head Plus. And we have our Andy Cine 4K monitor right there just to help us see better. The beer we're talking about today and filming is Crazy Mike by Alebrovar, which is a Polish brewery. Now this bottle is complete. That bottle has had the rear label cut off. And instead of the rear label, we've cut a piece of um, tracing paper, um, diffusion on the back, so that the light coming through gives it a nice glow. So what I'm gonna do is gonna turn on the light at the back first, so you guys can get the idea of what it looks like. We're using an Aperture F7 right here. So it's a little bit lower and it's shining right through the top here, as you can see. Above it, we have an Aperture MC light, which also gives it a tiny bit of a rim light right here. So that's pretty nice. Um, the next light I'm going to turn on is a falconized RX18T going through a large diffuser and that kind of lights the label up a little bit giving it this nice cool glow on the side there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the light we're using to film ourselves and at the very back what we have is one of my favorite lights it's like a lightsaber light it's the Yongmu YN360 version 1 and that's on 100% going for a piece of diffusion and it's going to have a little, little bit of rim light on the side of the bottle. On the other side, we have the exact same setup. Now you can see that these lights are not facing the bottle, they're facing out a little bit. So it just gives this nice little gradient. If we have it facing in, it completely changes the look of that gradient. So we're having it facing out a little bit, so it just, just very delicately hits it. So that's what our setup looks like right now. And the last thing we're gonna do is turn on the Godox SL60W underneath the desk with a diffusion and a blue filter attached. So we're giving it a little bit of a contrast, so the orange in the bottle and the blue on the background. And that's mainly our setup right now. We're gonna do a few other things to make this bottle look delicious, like you wanna open it and drink it straight away so it's nice ice and cold and misty. Um, and we're going to get to filming now. Right, so what we're going to do now is take the bottle away and make it look frosty cool. Uh, I'm just going to place a beer cap in the more or less the area we have it. So let's go over here. And I don't know if you guys can see, but on the back of the bottle is like a cutout. It kind of ends right where the, um, the beer line finishes. I don't want to move it too much so I don't create any bubbles in there. I can already see that one's kind of being created, but okay. This right here, this is glycerine mixed with water. And you need this kind of a sprayer. This one really doesn't work that well as I've noticed. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the bottle down here. And we're gonna give it a nice little spray. Um, I have two different ones because they have slightly different beads of water in them. And what they do is the glycerin stops the water running. So we can film all day and the droplets will stay more or less in the same place. So that's what the bottle looks like right there. 
um, and I'm going to try and very carefully put it back where it was. If needs, then we're going to move the camera a little bit, but I'd rather not touch the bottle too much. And yeah, that's, that's the look we're going for right here. Right, so this is our first shot, and it's actually going to be a shot of the very head of the beer, kind of a close-up. Um, and as we're going to be pushing in with the um, slider, the Aperture MC light, I'm going to turn it on. And then as it comes to a stop, David's going to turn on the blue Godox underneath the table. So let's try this. Let's try and be really, really, really careful when we're moving around here because every little movement makes the beer shake. Right, if I press one, it's going to just start. Perfect. So what that did is literally just the aperture light lit the bottle cap just nicely, a really simple detail. And at the very end, David lit the blue light, which is gonna be in the next scene, just to kind of put everything together, mix it in. <laughs> um, let's get to the next scene. Right, so this is shot two, um, and we have to be really careful because we're on a wooden floor, so any movement we make makes the beer and the bottle kind of move around and the slider go crazy. So we've got to be really careful when we're moving here. Um, the second shot here is going to be the full bottle and a slow push in on the slider. And whilst we're doing that, it takes about 16, 17 seconds at full speed on the Elder Crone. David's going to pull the light tube towards me, which has been flagged and it's um, not going to hit the wall and change the color of the um, blue right there. So yeah, let's try this out. And we're going to press go. Right, so this is the third shot. We've got the Elder Crown slider on the table, so it's gonna be really nice and smooth, so the beer doesn't move too much inside. Um, David, as you can see, is hiding down there with the spray bottle. We're gonna get some mist going over, um, so we're filming in 100 frames per second at the moment, and just gonna make it really nice and smooth. And it's a kind of almost parallax shot, which we're gonna do another shot later where the bottle's spinning a little bit faster, but that's gonna be like on a little turntable. So let's try this. Ready? Yep. Right, so we're filming the fourth shot now. Um, I recommend using a remote so you don't have to touch the camera at all when you're filming. Um, I'm just gonna spray the bottle just a tiny bit more so those little droplets look like it's really fresh and just been taken out of the fridge. Um, and what we're gonna do now is like a vertical twist of the um, light tube so it kinda shows in the um, reflection of the bottle. So I'm just gonna press the Elder Crown and let's go. Perfect. And that is so sharp. The 2470 at 70 millimeters, it's got, I think, 18 centimeters, a minimal focus distance, so you can use it as a macro, put in Super 35, and it is crystal. Right, so the last shot that we're doing with um, the actual bottle, without any beer coming out of it, is a push in. Um, I'm just gonna wet the area around it a little bit more, so it looks like everything's kind of almost frosted around it. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push in with the actual full bottle. And as we push into the end, the side light and the backlight are gonna turn off. And that is gonna transition with the backlight still on into the beer pouring out of the bottle into a glass. So let's try this. Eldercrone slider, David's ready, I'm ready. And Look pretty cool. 
let's start pouring. Right, so we finally got to the most fun stage of this shoot and that's pouring the actual beer. <laughs> um, so we've got the glass there. We have tilted it a little bit on its axis um, so that the rear print and the front print aren't kind of overlapping each other so we can see that it's from Alla Bravara. Um, and we still have the lights turned off. We're gonna turn the blue light back on when we have like a macro shot, the next shot of the pouring. But right now we're gonna do like pouring at 100, and frame, 100 frames per second and it's gonna just be backlit and toplit as you see now. And we're gonna try it with the Elder Chrome slider, just a little slow pushing. So here we go. That's a lot of head. <laughs> That's a lot of head. We might try that again, but we're not gonna film it. <laughs> right, the shot we're doing right now is a macro shot of the beer bottle, like opening the neck um, as the beer is coming out of it. And we're not gonna see the glass, we're just gonna see it pouring out at the moment. We decided to leave the blue light off just so it's really, really kind of glowing. Um, so we're gonna try this now. No dolly, nothing, just macro. Go for it. Perfect. That was beautiful. Right, so we're on our last shot now. So it's like a pull out um, and the beer's full, but we don't have too much head. So to get a little bit more head, all you have to do is put a little bit of salt in your beer it will start throughing up and bubbling. Wait, 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 wait. We're just gonna press play, um, record, the slide is gonna pull back and that is gonna be the end of our commercial shot. Okay, put it in. There we go, it's fizzing nicely now. Here it comes, here it comes. And that's it. That looks like you just want to drink it without the salt, but it looks awesome. Right, so we're doing the very last shots here. Um, we just did one where I was spinning up above during freehand. Um, I think it came out pretty nice, but we thought it'd be really cool to do like a shot from underneath. Um, and so we got like a glass frame out of a picture. Um, we put the two boxes up and the camera underneath. Now I am watching this on the, um, the Imaging Go app and it's filming in 100 and <laughs> frames per second. I'm a little bit iffy about this, but um, yeah, let's try this. It's looking pretty cool. Oh, that is so glowy. Yeah, that looked awesome. <laughs> Ooh. So that's about it guys. Um, I hope you liked that and it turned out as awesome as we think it was gonna turn out. Um, and yeah, if, if, if you haven't subscribed, remember to press the button just above it's somewhere above it's actually it's, it's down there <laughs> there's no button there um and um give the film a like if it helped you in any way at all and if you liked it apart from that yeah we, we are not going to be drinking this by the way because it's full of salt so it's probably he's probably going to drink it <laughs> anyway thanks for being with us today and um, we're going to catch you on the next one which is probably going to be pretty awesome too oh yeah He's going to do it. Oh, good.